All right, welcome back to another episode of Devon's Beekeeping and today we are going to be testing my bee escape that I made from my previous episode and if you'd like to see how this was built you can check it out there and we're going to be using this on Ive A04 and we're going to test it out and see how well it works. Typically you're supposed to use this um, for about two nights but we're testing it for one night to see how effective it is. It's very early in the morning so hopefully we can get majority of the bees vacated out of the super. So come on, let's get it started. Alright, so we're gonna pull the top off first without um, giving them any smoke so we have an idea of what the population is in the super. And as you can see, there are lots of bees here in the super. Lots of bees. So as you can see them, I'm gonna smoke them down. Then we lift up the super, revealing the second chamber. And it's as very simple as taking the B escape and putting it right here like that. And just like that, the B escape is already introduced. And then we're just going to put back the super on top of the B escape. And there it is. All done. Limited time. Box closed up. There. Alright guys, there you have it. So we just installed the V escape. And as you can see, very simple. Less than a minute to do so. Um, so we're gonna give it 24 hours. We're gonna come back. We're gonna check the amount of activity in the super just to see how much we actually reduce the number of bees there. And then um, we can see how effective it works. Again, typically you're supposed to leave this on for about two days, um, but 24 hours I think should give me enough where I can easily come in, pull the majority of the, um, pull the super without majority of the, of the bees getting out or getting upset or anything like that so makes it for easier way of um, pulling super so let's wait 24 hours and see what happens all right so here we are after 24 hours approximately I'm gonna see if it made a difference on the number of bees that was up here So there seems to be quite a, a lot of bees still up here um, so I'm thinking that it probably needed more time or I need to reduce the space some more either that or there probably be brood up here so I'm gonna check See what the problem is. So there was brood up here. So we're gonna have to check it back another time. We had brood up here. All right, so I was able to pull off um, some honey from the queen um, from the hives, and um, still have a lot to go. But as you can see, the girls are pretty angry at the moment. 
and uh, this is how the yard looks after I've pulled the honey off. As you can see, the bees are pretty much everywhere and they're trying to sting everything so that is the super important part of why um, of why I want to use the bee escape it's more effective less um, angry bees flying around trying to sting everything so what I found to be the problem is that um, the holes still need to be a little smaller right now I have it up to two bee space and um, I need to reduce that to one bee space and I'm gonna test it again the other thing that I found wrong was that there was brood in the um, in that box too. Once brood is in there, they are less likely to leave the box and come out. So I'm gonna go back to um, revamp and then come back to version two. But in the meantime, we're gonna go extract some honey. So come on. All right. So this is what we have. Um, I ended up getting three, approximately three. I'd say two and a half. Um, the season is still pretty much going on at the moment, but um, I was able to pull this amount. Last year, I was only able to get one, well, two, and um, that was pretty much it for the season. But I'm a new beekeeper, so every year is an improvement for me. So. All right, so everything was prepped before. The machines were clean and um, set up. Um, all the equipment was clean, so it's just for me to start doing what I need to do. So I'm gonna be uncapping in one of my little buckets and then from there, I will um, move exactly into this. So let's see what's going on. There we go, just started.
All right, so there you have it, guys. Um, sorry, I couldn't show a lot more, but um, we are going to go into lockdown in Jamaica. So I had to ensure that I run out and got some stuff. So I'll just show you what I was able to get out of the boxes that I took off the hives. All right, so I was able to get this little bucket half. Um, last year for the entire season, I got two of these. So um yeah this is the first draw and uh, pretty much i didn't know anything i'm still learning but as you can see i moved from this for last two of this for last year to one of half of this and one of this this is completely filled and um yeah so got that bucket full and that half and then from there, I'll just um, give it a few days to settle and then bottle it. And then I'll just um, take it away from there. So I'll probably show you how I do the bottling. I have something simple set up that some may find useful, some may not. But this is just how I'm doing it for now until I'm able to grow the bees and then I get better equipment to do better. So thanks again guys for watching. And as usual, like, share, comment and subscribe. For the Queen Excluder, look out for part two of that. I'm gonna fix the quarks on it. The holes are a little still too wide, so the bees still find a way to go through back through the hole. So I'm gonna improve that. But I summarize the reason it didn't work because there was brood in the second chamber. So later down in the season, after I make the hole smaller, I'll definitely post an update to see how well that actually worked. Thanks again for watching. Bye.